Fred Alford on the Head of Public Engagement and Impact at the University of Sheffield. Um, so I just wanted to kind of have two sort of parts to my presentation today. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about public engagement in general and at the university and then kind of talk about how we can support you guys in this virtual challenge. So what is public engagement? So um, I've taken the lead again and I found a definition from the National Coordinating Centre for Public Engagement. So we work quite closely with them. And I think essentially, in a nutshell, it's about a, the, a myriad of ways to communicate public engagement, the benefits to higher education and to the shared public. Um, it is seen as a two-way process, so you're kind of getting feedback from the public or from stakeholders or from different audiences um, and, and that's having a mutual benefit on your research. So public engagement, why is it important? So, and again this has kind of been touched on by Ian a little bit as well. So really funders and policy makers now kind of expect it, so they're looking for how your research can engage. Um, and often it's included in um, research grants and funding, that's what they ask for, they ask how you're going to engage with the public. Um, it can enrich your experience or, uh, within research and obviously <coughs> it strengthens the university's identity and reputation um, that we're doing world-class research, it's excellent and therefore it will attract, in theory, attract better academics to come and work at the university and more students and more staff. So those are just some of the ways that um, why public engagement is so important. So the public engagement and impact team have been in place now for three years um, at the University of Sheffield and we've actually recently, well we've been funded by the Research Councils UK and the Wellcome Trust um, and we have just recently received funding from the university for another three years. So I've been working with Professor Richard Jones, who's the um, VC of Research and Innovation, and a number of other people across the university to look at what public engagement means to us. So we've said that the role of the team is three-way. There's a, to embed a culture of public engagement in the institution, to support academics and early career researchers at all stages of their, of their career, if they want to do public engagement, and then create opportunities for public engagement through platforms. So they're quite lofty and wide, um, so I'm going to try and hone those down. Um, and it's the, it's the last two bullet points that I really want to kind of focus on, but I will mention the third three. So in terms of how we embed public engagement across the university, we're looking to work with HR to get public engagement recognised in all the staff reward and recognition policies. But that's something that we can kind of park for this. Um, another way to support academics taking public engagement activity out is through a masterclass programme. So we run a series of masterclasses, we run 10 a year, uh, they're two hours long, they're normally on the last Wednesday of every month. Uh, we promote them through an announce system and through um, email to all staff and students. And the idea is that people can come along and hear about a different aspect of public engagement. So it can be as wide as um, what to think about when organising a public engagement event. Or more for you guys, it could be around things like how to use iTunes U, how to think about using film within your research, how to use um, the media team and our kicks team to produce a small short film. So there's some, there's some direct in, um, relevance there within our masterclass programme. I will go on to talk about that a little bit later on because I think that's probably the most valuable for you guys. Um, the other thing that we do is we have this thing called platforms. So we run a series of events, a series of platforms, where we, which are essentially festivals. Um, and we run festivals for um, each individual faculty, but also then across faculty. And when I say a, a, a festival or a platform, it's basically we, where we get academics to come along, talk about their research in, a, in an engaging way. So one of the ideas, I think, could be that some of the virtual challenge should be shown at some of the festivals, depending on the faculty um, and maybe at some of our cross-faculty um, festivals. So I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to jump two slides. 
So I'm just going to go to the Mobile University because I feel like this is quite relevant for you and pertinent. So um, the Mobile University is in September. We are just about to do a call out um, and it is for early career researchers, um, young academics, to do a 20 minute lecture on their research. And I think this might be the perfect opportunity for you to show your film on the, on the bus um, and talk about it. So the Mobile University is it's the 25th to the 27th of September. We are looking for 30, well 10 academics, 10 early career researchers, 10 PhD students to come and talk about their research um, and uh, on the bus. They, they talk for about 20 minutes, um, take questions from the general public um, and, and it's, it's really a way to get their engagement out there, their research out there. Um, we also offer mentoring around the Mobile University, so in the run-up to the Mobile University happening, um, we get professors to mentor early career researchers who are going to take part. So I think that is something which is a kind of real tangible benefit where we could actually take the, the videos out. Um, we also have Sheffield Festival of Science and Engineering, which we're just in the process of doing now, so that'll be in the future. Um, I'm just going to run through these. Um, Sheffield Festival of Social Science, which is in November time. We have Life Festival, which will be next May, which is um, with the Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health. Um, and, and then I'm going to go back. And then we have Festival of the Mind, which hopefully you will all have heard of. Um, the next Festival of the Mind is going to be in 2016. Um, and that's maybe just to keep your eye on that one, basically. So um, that'll come up um, in September 2016. And it's an idea where we get um, academics, early career researchers to collaborate with people outside the university to create something new around their research. So it might be a film, it might be a theatre piece, it might be a play, it might be a workshop, an exhibition. Um, and we take it into the city centre, into a big tent. So that might be the next stage after the video. So I'm going to go back to this. But I think the, the most important part, I think, is um, our masterclass series. So as I say, we have 10 masterclasses a year. Uh, they're normally every Wednesday, the last Wednesday of every month. Um, they're normally two hours. We talk for, we have lectures for about an hour, and then we kind of have an interactive activity. So um, the next one is uh, uh, public engagement with non-specialist audiences. So that's, um, I think it's in two weeks' time um, uh, on a Wednesday. But it's all promoted through the announce system. If you go onto the public engagement website, there's a masterclass slide. Um, and you can go on there and you can actually sign up to, I think, the next three or four. So um, I think they would be really worthwhile coming along to. Um, we've got, so for this, we've got creating content for iTunes U working with the media team and the conversation and using social media and public engagement. So some, some of the aspects of that kind of, those kind of workshops which are later on in the year um, may help influence what you produce. Um, okay. So um, this is just a kind of summary of the different platforms that are coming up which may have an opportunity to show the videos um, <coughs> once they're produced. So we've got the Ideas Bazaar in September, Mobile University, I've said, in September, um, Festival of Social Science um, and others. And obviously I'll, I'll, I can share this presentation. There may be a really good opportunity around DocFest actually, probably not this year, but um, next year. So DocFest is the third biggest documentary festival in the world. Um, it takes place in Sheffield in June. Um, and so the next one after 2015 will be June 2016 um, and it showcases um, films and videos that are coming up and it's um, about 2,000 people go to it. There is some public events and some um, industry events so it might be, there might be a nice opportunity to showcase some of all the videos within, within, within DocFest itself. And I think, to be honest with you, I think I think that's probably all I want to say about public engagement. So I think essentially, I think there's some real support around the masterclasses that we produce. 
and that can kind of help train and make you think about kind of the messages that you're putting out and how to produce a film um, and what kind of things you want to include and not include. And then I, I guess this is the stage after really the competition, like platforms where we can actually publicise the events, uh, sorry, the films and take those out um, to the general public and just give you a, almost like a wider platform um, within the city uh, of, of where you can show your films. Um, so um, I will say we've got an email address which is engage at sheffield.ac.uk so please um, remember that and please get in touch if any of this is of interest and we're on the website as well so please have a look at the uh, masterclasses and the platforms and keep an eye out for them.